guess which particular topic I am going to teach you today. On the basis of questions which I will ask. So, I just want to know whether you know what is breathing. We are breathing since birth, is it? All of you are 14, 15 years old. From 15 years, we are breathing, breathing and breathing. So, everybody should know what is breathing. Can anybody tell me? No, no group answers, please. You can raise your hand. Anyone? Can you tell me? Yeah. Inhalation and exhalation of oil. Inhalation and, and exhalation. Inhalation of oxygen and exhalation of oh, carbon, carbon, carbon dioxide is called as breathing. breathing. Okay, sit down. Can you tell me what is this inhalation means? Yeah. Uh, taking the oxygen rich air in our lungs. Okay. And what is exhalation? Releasing carbon dioxide. Okay. So everybody knows what is breathing. Okay. Now, in the, uh, have you studied about nutrition? What is nutrition? Very easy. What is nutrition? Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Evans, and I'm quitting smoking to journey. The process of consuming mm -hmm. food is called as nutrition. Is it? So, ultimately, when nutrition takes place in the body, what happens? What are the four steps of digestion? One is ingestion, digestion, 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 Okay, the food is absorbed in the body. So who absorbs food in the body? Small intestine. Small intestine absorbs the food. Large intestine throws away the waste product. Isn't it? So now it is assimilated. So this assimilated food is taken up by the cells. Okay, energy is released. So this energy is, is taken up by the cells, which is given to all the parts of the body to carry out various life processes. Right? So now it is clear which chapter we are going to start? Life processes. Okay. What all life processes do you have? What all life processes do you have in this chapter? No opening of the book, please. This 30 minutes is my, my time. Okay, so you all just look at me, go home, read the book once, you will understand it. Okay? So now under life processes you have digestion. You have respiration, you have excretion, transportation, and excretion of what? Transportation of what? Digestion, respiration, respiration. So, we are going to study today respiration. Okay? So, under life process, we are going to study today respiration. Now, we need to understand. For understanding respiration, children, you should know what is nutrition. What is digestion? So now in the digestion, the step one in your textbook is digestion process. So that is over. After that, respiration starts. There is a reason for that. The assimilated food which is taken, it is further broken down uh, into energy and taken by the cells to carry out with uh, various life processes. So why respiration is important? Respiration is important because after the breakdown of food, the energy which is produced is utilized for carrying various vital processes in the body to keep an organism alive. So without respiration, we will be dead, isn't it? So everybody understood what is respiration? Now, photosynthesis also we have studied. What is photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form glucose plus oxygen. Okay. So let me write here photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide is reacting with water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to form C6H12O6 plus O2. O2. Oxygen is released. No plants release oxygen. Photosynthesis will take place only in plants. Chlorophyll I have written. So it is an indication that the process takes place only in plants. Isn't it? So we have six carbon dioxide plus six water will give you plus six O2. So this is the process of photosynthesis. I say respiration is the reverse of photosynthesis. So if you know photosynthesis, you will know respiration. So what will be the respiration now? Our topic respiration. So respiration is basically in the process of respiration, food ultimately whatever carbohydrates you are eating whether it is chapati or whether it is rice or whether it is pulao or whether it is idli, it is broken down into carbohydrate 
principles in their own carbohydrates and carbohydrates and product is glucose. You must have seen in advertisement of glucose. I don't know whether now we are getting that ad or not. When, when uh, you were know, of your age, this ad used to come. Glucon D, ye jaan mein jaan dal de, pite hi. Ab ye jaan mein jaan pite hi kyun dalega? Kyunki directly glucose is absorbed by the blood. Getting me? So it has to break down into glucose so that it is absorbed by the blood. And the absorption of the blood process is known as inspiration. So food is going to react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. So children, just now I told you, this energy is utilized for carrying all vital processes in the body and taking care of all vital organs in the body and hence respiration is Got it? Let's recap. We have studied breathing. You know what is breathing? Intake of oxygen. Uh, uh, intake of oxygen and use of carbon dioxide is known as breathing. Then we have studied what is photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide reacts with water in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to form glucose and releases oxygen. We also know that respiration is just the reverse of photosynthesis. So what is the reverse? Food will react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. And this energy is very very important for our survival. That is the reason respiration process is very very important. Okay? Now there is one terminology in your textbook which says that cellular respiration. What is this cellular respiration process? It is very simple children. It is called as cellular respiration. Why? Because this breakdown, everything takes place in the cell. Okay? That is the reason it is said to be a cellular respiration. So now, we study about the pathway. Now during the process of uh, respiration, how the entire process is going to take place? So basically in the process of respiration, the harmful substance called as carbon dioxide is expelled from the body, is removed from the body, is excreted from the body. It is a gaseous waste which has to be excreted because if oxygen is accumulated in the body, it will be very, very dangerous for us. Okay? So, which is the organ through which we respire? Lungs. Lungs is the organ through which we respire. Let us see, take example of fish. Now, some of you may be having aquarium at home. Just count the number of times when the fish opens its mouth. And you also breathe for one minute. And see who, whose breathing rate is faster. Why? Why? Ah, yes? Because the water is having less amount of oxygen. Because the water is having less amount of oxygen. Which oxygen? Which oxygen? Yes. So, now see this, uh, when you came to this Bhavad school in nursery class, you have studied that uh, poem, you know, Machi Jal Ki Rani. Yes. Isn't it? Haat lagao dal jati, that too you have understood of course. But bahar nikalo mar kiyo jati hai. That you are going to study today in 10th standard before you pass out from this school. So ultimately the question which was raised when you were uh, in zero class will be sorted out in one zero class. Isn't it? So now, why? Who can answer this? Ki why the fish dies when it is kept outside the water? Who can answer? Yes? The answer is, uh, fish can only take the dissolved oxygen. Well, yes. So now, what, uh, which, by which particular, which is the respiratory organ in fish? Yes. yes. Okay, it respires with the help of this. Okay, what about earthworm? Yes. yes. Achha, how do you identify that uh, this earthworm is uh, breathing uh, through skin? How do you know? Because its skin is moist, let two, three earthworms crawl on your feet. What kind of sensation do you get? Slithery, isn't it? Why? Because the skin is moist. So it respires with the help of skin. But always there is an exception. Right? When I say, tell me all of you report here, there will be someone who will be on the ground. Exception. Isn't it? So here also there is one exception. Frog. Frog is an uh, exception. Why? Why do I say that frog is an uh, exception? No, I want other children to answer. Head boy, thank you. Would be head boy. You are not going to become head boy. So please stand up. I'm talking to you. Yeah, tell me. Frog, have you seen? Tell me. Otherwise, one frog I'll put you in your pocket. So tell me. Just now I told you. Just now I told you. If I put some earthworm on your feet, 
how do you feel? Isn't it? So the same way, then frog hops on you, jumps on you. How do you feel? Isn't it? It will breathe through what? Skin. Skin and lungs. So frog will breathe through skin and lungs. That is the reason frog is said to be amphibian because it is capable of living in uh, land as well as water. Coming back again to our dear fish. Okay, fish again we come back and we found or find uh, you have to observe this phenomena in the aquarium whether the fish is able to open its mouth in, uh, for more time as compared to that of water. Mm -hmm. You will find that the water animals, the aquatic animals, their breathing rate is faster than that of terrestrial organisms. Why now? Why? The reason being that more of atmospheric oxygen is present in air and less of dissolved oxygen is present in air. And all the aquatic life forms will take dissolved oxygen only. And that is the reason that the fish comes out, it cannot breathe with the help of atmospheric oxygen and it dies. So the answer of my zero class is Today I am giving you in one zero class. Okay? Sure. Now we come to so what did what, what about fish? Actually, what about amoeba? Amoeba, amoeba. Our oh, favorite animal, isn't it? What is so special about amoeba? Yes? Actually, who has got cell membrane and who has got plasma membrane? Cell wall and plasma membrane is same. So who is having a cell wall and who is having a plasma membrane? Very good. Plant cells they have cell wall, which is made up of very platform. I am impressed. Very good. So cell wall is made up of cellulose, and here in case of amoeba, amoeba is what? It is a Unicellular organism and by what process? By what process it breathes? Yes? Diffusion. By the process of diffusion it breathes and which organism? Uh, which particular uh, part? How it breathes? Through cell membrane. Okay? So children, we have studied breathing, we have studied inhalation, we have studied exhalation, we have studied photosynthesis, we have studied respiration, we have studied cellular respiration. But the major part, now how this breakdown of food takes place? So let us understand the pathway of breakdown of foods. Okay. So we take breakdown of foods. This topic is uh, already covered. Already covered? So now, in uh, this breakdown of glucose pathway, before writing it on the board, I'll just explain it. See, first step is glucose is a, just now I wrote formula of glucose. What was the formula? So, glucose is how many carbon molecules? So, a six. Uh, a compound containing six molecules of carbon. So glucose contains six carbon molecules. So the six carbon molecules will be broken down into three carbon molecules. And the product will become from glucose to pyruvate. Okay? So the process of making glucose to pyruvate, this particular process takes place in cytoplasm. Okay? After becoming pyruvate, pyruvate is three carbon molecule. So either three conditions are possible. One condition is if there is lack of oxygen, what will happen? If there is absence of oxygen, what will happen? And if there is presence of oxygen, then what? Condition one, when there is lack of oxygen, lactic acid and energy. If there is absence of oxygen, then ethanol, ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus energy. And if there is absence of uh, uh, presence of oxygen, then first definition I told you, CO2 plus H2O plus Okay? Condition one was lack of oxygen. 
Condition two was absence of oxygen. Since the process of respiration or the breakdown of food material into energy is taking place in absence of oxygen, so you call this as aerobic respiration. Or anaerobic. Absence of oxygen means an aerobic. Without air, so an aerobic. Okay? And then second condition, the carbon dioxide and water is formed with the liberation of energy. This process is taking place in presence of oxygen, so we call it as, call it as aerobic respiration. So the same thing I am going to write down here. So we have glucose. So glucose is 6 carbon molecule. Right? So this 6 carbon molecule is going to be converted into, it breaks down into pyruvate. This pyruvate is 3 carbon molecule. And this particular process of breakdown of glucose, 6 molecule into 3 molecule takes place in cytoplasm. Is it clear to everybody? Yes. So this is cytoplasm. Now I told you 3 conditions. Condition 1. Lack of oxygen. Okay. If there is lack of oxygen, then lactic acid will be. Okay, then if there is absence of oxygen, if there is absence of oxygen, then what all products will be formed? Non plus carbon dioxide plus energy. Basically, respiration is the process of throwing out carbon dioxide. So we grow out with the help of plants. Amoeba grows out with the help of cells fish grows out with the help of whales, frog grows out with the help of lungs as well as whales, depending on the condition where his destination is today. Whether he is having class on land today, he has to attend class in water today. So it depends on that. So now ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus oxygen is formed. And if in presence of oxygen, presence of oxygen, it will form carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. One more thing here I would like to explain to you. Now, why it is known as cellular respiration? Because the process of breaking down 6 carbon in the molecule into 3 carbon molecule is taking place in cytoplasm which is there in the cells. So it is known as cellular respiration. Now under this condition when the pyruvate is formed, if there is lack of oxygen then lactic acid will be formed. If there is no oxygen, Okay, absence of oxygen, then ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus energy will be liberated. And in presence of oxygen, carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Since this particular reaction is taking place in absence of air, we call this as an aerobic reaction. And since this process is taking place in presence of oxygen, we call it as aerobic reaction. You do know aerobics? Right? In up to 1 to 5, we have a lot of aerobic exercises on Kedah years. Isn't it? So, in presence of oxygen. This is clear to everyone. Now, <coughs> this process takes place in cytoplasm. And this process is taking place inside the mitochondria. Ultimately, now energy is, is produced. This energy is synthesized in the form of ATP. How ATP is formed? ADP, that is isonosine diphosphate, reacts with inorganic phosphate to form ADP. Okay? So, this, the entire process of forming carbon dioxide plus this takes place in mitochondria. And in mitochondria, what is happening? The energy is synthesized in the form of ADP and it is like energy currency. It is stored in the mitochondria. That is the reason mitochondria is known as the power of the cell. Very short, short question of board examination. Okay? Got it now? Because the entire breakdown and the liberation of uh, energy takes place inside the mitochondria. Therefore, mitochondria is known as power of the cell. Why power of the cell? Because energy currency that is created, which is synthesized, is stored inside the mitochondria. What is ATP? Adenosine with triphosphate. Let's go back. What we have studied? Breathing we have studied. Photosynthesis we have studied. We have studied difference between respiration and breathing we have studied. 
We have studied cellular respiration. We have studied aerobic respiration. We have studied anaerobic respiration. We have studied breaking down of six molecules of glucose into three molecules for the spiral in presence of oxygen, in absence of oxygen, and in that of oxygen. Clear to everybody? Yes. See, my point is that you should learn here itself. When standard students are very busy, you don't have time to study biology, you know? So, only once you read and it is done. Okay. Which gas do you exhale? Common answer, all us together? CO2. So, I told you that it is the process of releasing CO2. Now, here, the last point which I am going to add is very short, short logical questions. They ask in what exam question. The amount of uh, energy, where the amount of energy will be more? In presence of oxygen, in absence of oxygen. Okay, so this process is known as, also known as fermentation. At home you can do this, take sugar, put um, yeast in that. So the solution and then put the yeast. After some time, you will find that you will get a smell of alcohol. Okay? Which, which alcohol is you can drink? Which alcohol you can consume? What is the name of that alcohol which the drunkards drink? The alcoholics drink? Which alcohol? Ethanol. Ethyl alcohol. Okay? So that is the reason, you know, uh, I used to teach earlier, you know, in one uh, company school, it was an iron steel company, they were having a school, they were school, I used to teach. So there, you know, they used to put in the spirit which we use in the spirit lab, is a different one, 100% pure, if somebody wants to taste it, you know, enjoy That is the reason we call it as rectified spirit. So it, they used to put a dye in that, because, you know, they used to check, there is a particular instrument to check whether you know, breath analysis whether you have you are drunk or not before entering into the uh, workshop. So they, they used to check and everybody used to be without, you know, they all used to pass their test and get inside. After coming out, most of them used to be fully loaded. <laughs> so they, now it was a person, you know, when you were entering inside, you don't carry, carry any alcohol. You are neither drunk, but you are, when you are out, that will allowance to come to you are drunk. So then they started putting a dye in this rectified spirit, they should drink that. Rectified spirit. Go and check the uh, cough syrup, there are good. And you see the ingredients, what are there? One of the in ingredients is ethyl alcohol. That is the reason doctors tell you, take this benadryl at night. Because when you take, it reduces sleep. You must have seen that in holy and all. They take a lot of alcohol and they are found in Nala and <laughs> So 
you have to get oxygen so to your everyone. oxygen Welcome. and not Those who don't know yes. me, amazingly I'm Jeff. Not bad no, no, no. Give your lungs oxygen and that from this side Give your give your lungs oxygen. Hmm. Give your body. No, give your lungs oxygen, not car. Second line. Give your lungs oxygen, not car. Huh. Give your body exercise, yes. not bad health. Give exercise. Give your uh, lips smile, no cigarette. Uh, not give. No, no. Give, give, give. Give your body exercise, not bad health. These are the do's and don'ts to take care of our. Hey, where is this tumor? Come inside. Intelligent people don't need teachers at all. Is it? No, mommy went to Abira. My mom went to Abira. Ah, then, 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 next. Give your legs smile. No cigarette. Ma'am, gift only. Lips. Gift? Yes, ma'am. Three gift. Gift your lips, oh. smile. Mm -hmm. No cigarette. No cigarette.
intestinal bleed, intestinal cancer, and wheezing. Then hardening of uh, arteries, arteries, asthma, then eye irritation. So there are so many ill effects of passive smoking, right? Okay, this side girls, you come. No, no. Sorry. You come and see. Next slide. Let me check huh? first. Whose face it is yours? Sit. Then you do a lot of oxygen to your body. And ultimately the smile will be on your face. Okay? But, what will happen? Tar. Tar from where are you going to get tar? When you smoke, you are going to get tar in the body. In the body, especially in the lungs. Okay? So later on we will study about, you know, I kept chart also for explaining the respiratory system. That you will be future. But now see, have you seen? Others can come one by one and see. Come on, one of you can rotate, other can see, two of you, go there. Now, we are going to watch one video, what are the harmful effects of uh, smoking and say no to tobacco in various forms. So, this, uh, you know, the, you can have a campaign of no smoking or uh, uh, during PTM. You can make beautiful slogans on that and you can save many people's lives. Because it contains one substance called as nicotine, the person becomes addicted to that, that. And that is the reason it is very difficult to leave uh, smoking once you acquire this habit. Why? Because spelling of habit is what? Once you acquire a bad habit, it is very, very difficult to leave that habit. Because spelling of habit is H A B I T. Okay? If you remove H, a bit remains. If you remove A, bit remains. If you remove B, it remains. Okay? So now we are going to see, watch this video. Children, you all understood what, what I did? Yes, yes. yes. If it is so, then I can continue with this class. Yes, yes. Cigarettes aren't good for us. That's hardly news. We've known about the dangers of smoking for decades. But how exactly do cigarettes harm us? Let's look at what happens as their ingredients <coughs> make their way through our bodies and how we benefit physically when we finally give up smoking. With each inhalation, smoke brings its more than 5,000 chemical substances into contact with the body's tissues. From the start, tar, a black, resinous material, begins to coat the teeth and gums, damaging tooth enamel and eventually causing decay. Over time, smoke also damages nerve endings in the nose, causing loss of smell. Inside the airways and lungs, smoke increases the likelihood of infections, as well as chronic diseases like bronchitis and emphysema. It does this by damaging the cilia, tiny, hair-like structures whose job it is to keep the airways clean. It then fills the alveoli, tiny air sacs that enable the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and blood. A toxic gas called carbon monoxide crosses that membrane into the blood, binding to hemoglobin and displacing the oxygen that would usually have transported around the body. That's one of the reasons smoking can lead to oxygen deprivation and shortness of breath. Within about 10 seconds, the bloodstream carries a stimulant called nicotine to the brain 
triggering the release of dopamine and other neurotransmitters, including endorphins, that create the pleasurable sensations which make smoking highly addictive. Nicotine and other chemicals from the cigarette simultaneously cause constriction of blood vessels and damage their delicate endothelial lining, restricting blood flow. These vascular effects lead to thickening of blood vessel walls and enhance blood platelet stickiness, increasing the likelihood that clots will form and trigger heart attacks and strokes. Many of the chemicals inside cigarettes can trigger dangerous mutations in the body's DNA that make cancers form. Additionally, ingredients like arsenic and nickel may disrupt the process of DNA repair, thus compromising the body's ability to fight many cancers. In fact, about one of every three cancer deaths in the United States is caused by smoking. And it's not just lung problems. Smoking can cause cancer in multiple tissues and organs, as well as damaged eyesight and weakened bones. It makes it harder for women to get pregnant, and in men, it can cause erectile dysfunction. But for those who quit smoking, there's a huge positive upside with almost immediate and long-lasting physical benefits. Just 20 minutes after a smoker's final cigarette, their heart rate and blood pressure will begin to return to normal. After 12 hours, carbon monoxide levels stabilize, increasing the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity. A day after ceasing, heart attack risk begins to decrease as blood pressure and heart rates normalize. After two days, the nerve endings responsible for smell and taste start to recover. Lungs become healthier after about one month with less coughing and shortness of breath. The delicate, hair-like cilia in the airways and lungs start recovering within weeks and are restored after nine months, improving resistance to infection. By the one-year anniversary of quitting, heart disease risk plummets to half as blood vessel function improves. Five years in, the chance of a clot forming dramatically declines and the risk of stroke continues to reduce. After 10 years, the chances of developing fatal lung cancer go down by 50%, probably because the body's ability to repair DNA is once again restored. 15 years in, the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease is essentially the same as that of a non smoker There's no point pretending this is all easy to achieve. Quitting can lead to anxiety and depression, resulting from nicotine withdrawal. But fortunately, such effects are usually temporary quitting is getting easier, thanks to a growing arsenal of tools. Nicotine replacement therapy through gum, skin patches, lozenges and sprays may help wean smokers off cigarettes. They work best. So now children, if you can sensitize any one bag, you know many people are smoking, many uncles are smoking. You're less old, good children, isn't it? So, in case if you find anybody and you can save anybody's life, see. This is lime water I have taken with. And this is, uh, lime water means calcium hydroxide. And this you call it as a pigment. You have to put this, low air. Come. Come in here, low air, and then we will see what happens to you. After blowing air from his mouth, it has become blue. Can you see the difference? Yes. This is because lime water turns milky in and which gas to detect gas So carbon dioxide gas turns turns lime water milky. This is the experiment which you have seen. Okay? So when you exhale, it, it is which gas? It is carbon dioxide gas. Clear to you? At home, children, you are going to try this experiment. You are going to take sugar, put it in a, any glass, whichever tumbler is available at home, stir it and put little yeast. Yeast is available at home. And after some time you just smell it, it will smell like ethyl alcohol. Fermentation reaction will take place. We have seen when there is absence of oxygen, which what is liberated? Ethanol plus, plus CO2 plus energy. So that smell will be of which alcohol? Ethyl alcohol. And the formula of ethyl alcohol is? C2H5OH. Okay. Next class, we will be studying about 
ह्यूमन रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सफिशियंट रिविजन आई टेकन एंड आई थिंक द टॉपिक इज थर अंडरस्टूड बाई यू इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन अप्रोच मी आई एम ऑलवेज अवेलेबल थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच